Hello, uh, welcome to today's class. This would be our second class on Prolog programming. In the last class, we talked about uh, fact and how we can represent facts using in Prolog. Uh, and we used this family tree as an example. So, in this family tree, we can see uh, who is the parent of whom and we represented this parent relation using facts and these are the different fact that we used uh, and i said that we represented uh, these fact facts as binary relationships because we have two arguments in every relationship uh, now let us say that we also want to represent the gender of each person so in our program we have already included the parent information the parent relationship relation and now we want to uh, add the gender information or the gender relation uh, one way it to include uh, is the this information as fact uh, just as i show it here so we can specify new fact uh, for to capture the gender information so I would say that Pam is female Tom is male and so on and as you can see these uh, relation this new relation is our unary relations um, instead here we have two different relation one is female the other is male instead we can use only one relation uh, which the name may be gender but have it as a binary relation so here we say that uh, gender of Pam is feminine gender of Tom is masculine and so on so here we have two different relation uh, but the relations are unary relations but here we have only one relation gender we don't have two separate relation male and female but we have only one relation gender uh, but the relations uh, are uh, binary relations uh, so to capture the gender information uh, we we add new fact to our program now let us continue and let's see what about we want to represent the mother relation also so we want to uh, capture the information who is the mother of whom uh, one way to capture this relation is to add new facts about the mother relation so when we add new fact it may be something like this uh, Pam is the mother of um, Bob uh, Pat is the mother of Zim uh, and so on so we can add a lot of fact here to capture the mother relation however there is a different approach uh, because the mother relation can be logically derived from already known relation so if we know the parent relation and if we know the gender relation uh, we can automatically find out the mother information also so using the parent and the gender information we can derive the mother relation also so it is not necessary to add new fact to our programs uh, another way of saying this same thing is that uh, for all x and y x is a mother of y if x is a parent of y and x is female so we can say that x is a mother of y if first of all x has to be a parent of y then only x can be mother of y and x has to be female so if this condition is satisfied we can say that x is a mother of y now in prolog uh, this particular uh, logic can is represented as is shown here so this is how we can uh, we can represent this logic in prolog mother x y colon dash parent x comma y comma female x um, uh, this way of representing relations is called fact and uh, this the new method that 
I show here uh, this method of representing relation is called rules so fact they are always true so if I say mother Pam comma Bob then the fact that Pam is the mother of Bob is always true however in case of rules uh, the rules specify things that are true only if some condition is satisfied so only if some condition is satisfied uh, this part will become true so this is how rules work uh, to continue further so rules have a condition part which is on the right hand side of the rule and a conclusion part which is on the left hand side of the rule so on the right hand side this is the condition part parent x comma y comma female x so this constitutes the condition and what is on the left side mother x comma y this is the conclusion part uh, the conclusion part is also called the head of the clause so this is the head of the clause and what is there on the uh, the condition part the condition part is also called the body of the clause so in this case in our body we have multiple goals one goal is parent x comma y x has to be a parent of y the other thing is x has to be female so so each of them is a goal and this comma comma means conjunction the end operation so for this body to be true each of the goal has to be true so this body part will be true only if parent x comma y is true and female x is true only when both the goal is true then only the body will become true and if the body becomes true the conclusion will become true so if the body is true then we can say that we can conclude that mother x is the mother of y so now continuing with that um, after we represent the rule in our program now we can ask queries to prolog queries like whether Pam is the mother of Bob or not so we can ask this question to prolog um, now we know that we don't have any fact the only fact that we have in our program is the parent relation and male and female relation these are the only fact that we have in the program we don't have the mother relation as a fact we have the mother relation only as a rule so if I ask this question to prologue whether Pam is the mother of Bob or not uh, prologue cannot answer it based on on fact because the mother relation is not present there as a fact what we have is the rule so now prologue will try to answer this question using this rule that we have in our program now to use this rule uh, since we are asking about Pam and Bob so these variables x and y has to be replaced with these objects Pam and Bob so we say that we have to instantiate the variable so x has to be instantiated to Pam and y has to be instantiated to Bob then from this rule we will get after instantiation this rule we'll get the rule that Pam is the mother of Bob only if Pam is the parent of Bob and Pam is female so after instanti instantiation of the variables this is what we get and now to answer this question whether uh, whether this part is true or not Pam is the mother of Bob whether this part the conclusion part this is the conclusion part for the conclusion part is to determine whether the conclusion is true or not we have to determine whether the body is true or not now what is the body body is uh, 
Pam is the parent of Bob and Pam is female. So this is the body uh, of the rule. So now we have to determine whether uh, this body is true or not. And to determine whether this body is true or not, we have to look at each of the goal. We have to first find out whether Pam is the parent of Bob or not. And then we have to find out whether Pam is female or not. However, uh, so the initial goal of determining if a mother, Pam is the mother of Bob, whether this is true or not, uh, that part gets replaced with the goals whether Pam is the parent of Bob and uh, Pam is female. Now these two goals that we want to find out whether these two goals are true or not, this we can, I, I, Prolog will be easily able to determine whether these two goals is true or not because we already have fact relate, uh, related to the parent relation and the female relation. So using those fact I can find out whether these two goals are true or not and actually we will be able to find out this this is true because in our program we have a fact which says that Pam is the parent of Bob and in our program we also have a fact which says that Pam is a female so based on those two fact we can say that each of these two goals are true and hence since both the goals are true we can conclude that Pam is the mother of Bob However, if any of this goal is false, if we don't have a fact which captures uh, this goal, then that particular goal will be false and if a goal becomes false, then the conclusion will also be false. But in this case, since we have, uh, since both the goals will be true, um, our conclusion will be true and Prolog will answer true for this question. Uh, that's all I have um, for today's class. Actually, we will run this program and see in execution. I'll show it in a short. Okay, let me first show you uh, executing the program. Uh, so, first let me show you the program. This is the program that I have. As you can see, these are the fact, parent relation fact. These are the fact rela related to the male relation and these are the fact related to the female relation and this is the rule that I have in my program so now this is the program we have let me f uh, run SWI prolog so let me start SWI prolog and the first thing you need to do is you need to consult so I will consult program 02 that's the name of my program so let me load that program so i have loaded it so now i can ask the question related to uh, the mother so i can ask whether pam is the mother of bob or not and if i ask that question it returns true because as you can see these are the two goals we wanted to determine whether Pam is parent of Bob uh, whether Pam is parent of Bob yeah it is true because we have a fact which says that Pam is a parent of Bob and was, what was the second goal the second goal was whether Pam is female or not and I can find out from my program that Pam is female hence um, since both the goals are true based on the fact that are present and hence my conclusion that Pam is the mother of Bob will also be true and Prolog will and Prolog will answer true. Uh, let us now try to give another query. Uh, let us look at our family tree. So let us ask whether Pam is the mother of Zim or not. So let me run that query. Pam is the mother of Zim. Now when I ask this question, uh, my goals will become 
what will be my goals uh, my goals will be parent pam comma zim uh, whether pam is the parent of zim or not now there is no fact which says that pam is the parent of zim we have fact which says pat is the parent of zim uh, but we don't have any rule we says that pat is the sorry pam is the parent of jim so uh, that particular uh, goal will become false and which will make the body of the rule become false and hence the conclusion will be false so prolog should return false for this question let us run it yes it returns false uh, similarly uh, however, if I ask whether Pat is the mother of Zim, uh, then we have this fact present, parent, and we also have the female Pat. Uh, we have this fact also. So, in this case, if I ask whether Pat is the parent of, whether Pat is the mother of Zim, for this query, um, both the goals will be true hence the conclusion that pat is the mother of zim will also be true and hence prologue will re return true and let us run one more query which is about let's say bob let us ask whether bob is the parent of m or not n or not so if i ask bob comma n a n n b o b so if i ask this query now what will be the body of the rule the body of the rule will be parent bob comma n and female bob so the body will have these two goals parent bob comma n and female bob now the first goal will be true because we have this fact but the second goal female bob will be false because we don't have a fact which says that bob is female hence the second goal will be false and hence the body will be false and hence the query did we are asking will be false here it is false so i hope you have understood what is rules what the rules and how prolog determines whether the conclusion part of the rule is true or not based on the goals that are present in the body uh, that's what we saw today um, i would like to stop here for today in the next class we will see uh, more about rules so with that i would like to stop for today thank you bye